tactics, we have to talk a little bit more about neutral position. The biggest problem with people when they begin tactics and they start getting off the snow position and they start skiing at higher speeds or they start hitting the mogul in different positions, they lose their good neutral. We gotta make sure that when we're skiing in a tactical position, we have to have the feet and the hip always in the same placement, even off the snow. We never want the feet to go outside the hip position. We also want to make sure that when we're going into a tactical position that we maintain a box that's level. The sides of the box staying long and the top and the bottom level. Also, when we go to neutral position and tactical maneuvering, we don't want to do it with an upper body motion. We always want to work through the middle of the body. Think of the knee through the chest. In this area, this core, we want to have all the movement happen. This is a drill where you want to work on a weight transfer and feeling light before that weight transfer. So as I come across the hill, I want to feel center on the ski, on equal on both sides. As I hop, I lift from the hip and the stomach. I raise myself up, and as I come down and land, I want to land on the weight transfer of the uphill ski, and I want to kind of absorb that pressure, and at the same time, begin the edge. As you know, Ido, no training. So, up to hop through. land. I want to make sure that I have the same type of weight transfer, same type of edging, and same body position. And then again, going from medium turn to short turn. Varying the turns as much as possible keeps you sharp. It makes you make a very strong image of where you want to be at the end of the turn. And transition is so important that we keep the same body position balanced so I can do any size turn at any point that I want. short turn into long cross falling in turn. Then you want to have 90 degree angle from the knee and the hip. You also want to try and think of the back staying straight. You don't want to be tucked in and rolled, but straight on the back. The weight transfer must come from the whole body on top of the ski before we begin any of the edging movement. The reason we want to do this low weight transfer, a lot of times we're in the moguls and we come from absorbed position, we sometimes don't have time to prepare the turn. So we need to go flat on the ski, weight transfer low, and then as we extend, we start the edging. We want a low position, but we want the knees flexed forward as much as we can. Wide stance, like shoulder width, and then coming across the hill. We still want the weight transfer nice and early.
When we do the shift, we want to make sure that we have the level shoulder and level hip working across the hill and not coming in on leaning position or into the hill position, but straight across. In the shift position, it's very uh, patient end of turn and holding that end of turn until you get into the next alley that you want to ski in. Short turn. Short turn. I want to stay light on the shoulder and arm position, and I want to keep level on this. Also, when I jump facing the fall line, I don't want the hip to face the fall line. I want to keep the hip under my body and keep my body straight over that edge. And when I jump, I think of lifting and pushing off the knee and not lifting with the chest. As I come around, I think of this foot coming straight under the body and landing on edge for the next turn. Nobody must. Nobody must. Because you're carrying more weight, you want to lift with both knees. And as you rotate, keeping the feet under the hip is a little bit more difficult. When you land on edge, you want to make sure that you're landing on edge majority of the downhill opposed to both and mostly leaning to the uphill ski. Keeping that straight up and down perpendicular line over that edge that, of the ski you land on. Anywhere from the center front, depending on where we put the weight position, the more I can put more pressure on the front and aim for the front of the ski to begin the turn, the more speed control I can have. Doing this drill, you learn how to not go from, for say, center to the very front for pressure, because then you're gonna, not going to have good balance. What you want to learn how to do is how to gradually, each turn, move the pressure forward until that you come to a complete stop. Start out long or medium speed, you could eat, you could eat pressure, don't go to the side, you could eat, you could eat, you could eat. Go to the side, pressure up there. Very important on this drill to make sure that 
The body position is staying over the skis at all times. You don't want to get inside on the deep turn. Large turn, deep, large turn. Keep up in the skis are cut up. So, this point, you want to make sure that you're confident and not falling back into the hill, but when you go light, take yourself into the front of the boot. Constantly staying light and shallow. the big turn where you're following the ski, you want to maintain as much of a fall line position as possible. Deep turn again. We want to make sure when we finish the turn that the hip is not into the hill, but on top of the ski. Pressure stall. Bukai head. Forward position, but you want to have a light edge. Keeping that middle turn, you're going to gain a lot of speed, but make sure yourself as your body position is going into the fall line. Also want to make sure that your shoulder and hip stay level. This turn makes sure that the weight transfer is first before any edging. really want you to feel more onto the front of the arch, onto the balls of the feet. And every time you transfer, you're going to feel yourself kind of rolling into the fall line. The important thing in this training is to decide a number of turns that you want to go slow and a number of turns you want to go fast. The idea is to combine not only speed control with turn, but combining the pressure and tension of extension and absorption for speed control. The reason we want to start with slow is to get a balance and good technique and good timing. The important thing is to decide a number of turns that you want to go slow and a number of turns you want to go fast.
もう少し深い深い深い深いもう一回浅い浅い浅い浅いもう一回深い。On this drill, you want to choose one side, maybe high right and low left. So you're going middle to the right middle corner of the left. It's very important to keep good absorption and movement on both sides. A lot of times people on the corner will tend to push the feet. You want to keep the good foot position, front of the ski always leading through each point of the mogul, and good absorption and movement on both sides so it looks equal. jump landing no toki. 左は真中、カロ、真中、カロ。Here, it's really important for every mogul as you gain speed to try and go down to the bottom with the front of the ski as much as possible. The more pressure you can gain be using the mogul and the body as a wedge, knees driving, mogul pushing, this is where you get the speed control. By avoiding a fast movement tension, you can create a nice pressure and that will control your speed. On the top of the mogul, on the correct timing, when the foot passes, the whole foot passes the top, your extension, you want to think of kind of a light press and away on the, on the back side. So as you're going, you're kind of using the back and pressing and pushing to accelerate your speed, using the front side as light and trying to avoid any type of tension or pressure. Point. 
Knee angle is always first coming to the front of the mogul. Hip position is always up over the center of the arch. Also, when you do touch the mogul, you don't want to be stiff, but you want to think of soft. So it's almost as you touch the mogul, you take away all the pressure from the mogul through using the absorption of the body movement. a mogul or a bunch of moguls that are a little bit larger and you want to choose a mogul where you kind of have a good body position a little bit early extension so that you rise off the top of the mogul and you're going to land on the top of the next mogul <laughs> You also want to make sure that when you do this quick turn, you have enough room for two so that when you come off this, this mogul, facing into the next mogul, you have time for one left, one right, and then back into the normal line again. Quick turn, Matsu Matsu, one, two. important that the speed control comes from the beginning of the turn, not the end of the turn. A lot of times people will use just the end of the turn. We want to get quick edge preparation, a lot of early pressure before the ski comes into the fall line. So by the time we're in the middle of the turn, we already have a lot of bend and pressure in the ski. Asai turn cut out. Asai, 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 asai. As we enter to the bottom of the mogul, we want to maintain a closing pressure. The knee and the bend in the ski closing together and holding a tight position. Here we use tension of absorption. Tension meaning that we don't have a relaxed movement but we have a good muscle tension. Taking that pressure and controlling it in a way that it kind of keeps our body in one place for a long time. You should know, Pressure, pressure, pressure.
Sometimes we use it in the middle when the line is starting to change. If the line is starting to go to the right, you want to ski high left. If the line is start going to the left, you want to go high right. This will help you keep a direct line. Be very selective when using this tactic. You don't want to use this all the time, but only to make an impression to the people that you're coming straight down the fall line and not falling through where the mogul line goes. Here, Monica, Monica, high side, cut off, high side, cut off. that at the end of the turn that we're not pressing away to the point where we're inside the turn. We, as we press away we want to keep the body on top of the middle of the ski so we can still absorb in good position. As you increase your speed you should feel like light on the front and then you should feel a heavier position on the back. <laughs> turn is also used to keep good foot position. What I want you to make sure you do is when you come over the back of the mogul, you have a patient beginning. You still want to be prepare the turn like a normal turn with good weight transfer on the back side. This time the knees have to work. You have to make sure that the timing is that you can have the third turn match back into the regular line. If you shoot, if you shoot. He's like, hold on, one, two, three. He's like, hold on, one, two, three. the jump, the last turn was a very good approach. It's very important that that last turn, when you finish the turn, that you initiate the be beginning of the next turn, and as you initiate and go into the falling, you go flat on the ski. You don't want to finish the turn and slide the ski to flat. So it's very important because you need to keep the foot position under the hip position in the transition. A little turn, no, turn go on, high eye jumbi. We want to get into a good neutral position. As we come up for the neutral position, I also want to prepare for the first turn. We don't want to have a slide, so we still have to have a weight transfer, foot through. I set the edge, and that's only to prepare for the next turn. This is a preparation turn, not a real turn. So as I plant, then I come up and I'm set early for the next turn.
We want pressure right away, and that's why we have a step turn. We want to gradually do it. In this situation, I would probably use my absorption speed control in the first uh, two or three moguls, and after that, I would add a little bit of turn with that absorption speed control. So gradually, speed and turn together for the speed control. You want to make sure that the shoulder direction and hip direction is straight to the fall line. You also want to make sure that you're in a straight position. So, for example, when you're going to Daffy to Twister, you want the arm position at the chest level when you come back and go through. Double Twister. Twister, you don't want the arms to move quick. You want the arms to the side, chest facing down the hill, so also the hips facing down the hill. タクティック練習しなかったはいけない。けど、あの、いつのスカウモノでは得れません。タクティックは自分のジャックテンのゴマンカス タクティックの前に気温をしっかり身につけることを忘れてはいけません。強い選手になってください。